right, in this lecture, we're going to be going over something called the rule of 60%. Now, the rule of 60% is not going to be taught to you almost anywhere. I've run into very few people that actually know about the rule of 60%, and I learned this when I was interning at the animation studio when I was 17, and I learned it from a really good artist friend of mine. Now, what is the rule of 60%? Well, the rule of 60% helps your perspective drawings from becoming distorted looking. And what it is, is it's the rule that you can only show 60% of your horizon line. So from one vanishing point to another, you can only show 60% of what's within that space. Otherwise, everything outside of that space becomes very distorted. So let me show you what I mean. So if I grab my ruler right here, I have one vanishing point right here, and I have another one right over here. And the distance between those two vanishing points is 10 inches. So 60% of that would be 6 inches. So that means 4 of those inches are extra that I don't want to show. So what I would do is I would come in 2 inches from both sides. So I would come in 2 inches from this vanishing point, and then I would come in 2 inches from this vanishing point, so to right there. And so now, I can only show within that space. Otherwise, everything outside of that space looks too distorted and it doesn't look realistic. You would never see something that distorted in perspective, but you would see that type of perspective right there. So we can go ahead and now draw vertical lines coming up from each one of those points, like so. And now that's our composition right there. That is our workspace to work in. Now, this is the reason why a lot of people get really frustrated with perspective drawing is because their perspective drawings don't look very realistic because they're seeing really exaggerated lines. Now that you have the space that you can make your drawing within, what you need to do next is you need to make the same measurement but vertically. And so we have six inches from here to there. And so we need three inches on this side, bottom side of our horizon line and three inches on the top side. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go right there on our three. And then we'll go ahead and add in a mark up here, and then we'll add in a mark down here. And then we can go ahead and draw a line for our bottom horizontal line, and one for the top, like so. And so now we have a guide. We have a guide for where our picture can be. So anything on the outside of this square, we don't want to use. Now, you can cut these edges off so that this is your only workspace, but I recommend you don't do that till the very end of your drawing because you still need to know where your vanishing points are. So now if we wanted to continue drawing images in here, we know where we want to put our objects. So let's say that we wanted to add another box in here and we wanted to add it in underneath all of these ones. Well, we know we need to keep it in this area and it can't be over here, it can't be out of here, we need to keep it within this area right here because if we leave the space of this box, it's going to become too distorted. Now, you don't have to use this entire box. If you want, you can bring this line up so that the bottom of your page goes right there and you can bring this line down or you can bring these lines in, whatever you wanna do. You just need to make sure that you stay within this 60% box, which is the 60% ratio between your two vanishing points. Really quick, let's go ahead and look at an example of this distortion. So earlier we drew this picture of this house and this building, which are in correct perspective, but you would never see this type of exaggeration in perspective. So what we're doing wrong here is we're not applying the 60% rule. So the 60% rule says we can only show 60% um, of our image, and then we need to take that same distance and we need to put it vertically and so really honestly probably this house would be getting cut off right about there if we were following that rule and that's why that corner looks so strange and exaggerated is because it's out of bounds thanks for watching this lecture and i really look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's lecture where i'm going to draw for you guys a picture that is well rendered and uses two-point perspective and then we're going to apply highlights and shadows to that as well as cast shadows so that you can see what it looks like to draw an actual really well rendered drawing using all the techniques I've taught you up to this point.